Welcome back, IP1. I hope you're doing great. You're staying safe and you're staying home. Today, we are having our lesson number four together. This is uh, talking about media creation and paint 3D again. And without any further ado, let's get started. For today, words to remember are enlarge, resize, reduce. What does enlarge mean? Enlarge means make or become larger. So if you want something become bigger and larger, you enlarge it. Resize. Resize means alter or change the size of something, especially a computer window or image. Reduce, make smaller or less in amount, degree or size. So resize means you can make it bigger or smaller, change the size, and reduce means making it some making something less or making it smaller. So reduce the size. Paint 3D brushes. You can click and drag to draw freehand. You can choose type of brushes, the thickness, and the opacity. We can find the brushes right here on the top. Um, you can see on the left side, it's written brushes and it's highlighted. Once you click the brushes, you can see the different options on the right hand side here, that there are many different types of brushes that you can use. Then we can see the thickness, how thick do you need the brush to be? And the opacity, how opacity means how uh, transparent, like how dark or um, how dark it should be. And if you want to see the uh, object or the picture under the brush, you have to make the opacity less. If the opacity is less, you can see more of the background and less of the color. 2D shapes, you can draw exact 2D lines, curves, and regular objects. So you have to choose the 2D shapes on the top here. And then when you click that, you will see all these options here. So there are some um, shapes that you can choose and draw by hand, or there are some 2D shapes templates that are existing and you can use those. And you have the detailed editing here on the right, fill in, scroll, color, size, opacity, and etc. You can also rotate or flip. So once you choose a shape, just like this one, you will be able to see the information here. So star, four points, and you can choose the color that you want to fill in. Fill in means the color inside of your shape. At the moment is white color. And the line type is the surrounding the star, just like this. And the thickness means how thick the lines are. Sticker opacity is about how bright or how dark the sticker is. Stickers, you can import ready icons. All 2D shapes will, be, will become part of your drawing after you apply it. And it will be not editable. You can use 
make 3D to make the 2D into a 3D shape. So these are all the stickers. You can see on the top again, you can choose the stickers and you can choose the sticker that you want. And don't forget, it will match your object stick to your picture and you cannot edit it anymore. If you want to continue editing later on, you can make it a 3D object. 3D library provides ready 3D shapes. Here is the 3D shapes. You can choose which 3D object you want to use and select it and use it. You can reshape resize and scale the 3D shapes. The Z axis helps to adjust the shapes on the plane. So this is the Z axis, which helps you to adjust the, the placing of the shark in this picture to how front or how back it can be, you can look at my video on the right top right hand corner on my face. So you imagine this is the shark. You can choose, do you want it to be here or here or very in front? Where do you need it to be? The 3D view helps you to see the page as the 3D version. So this is a 3D version and how you can choose it is just simply clicking on the 3D view on the top of the page. To draw 3D object from beginning, you go to the 3D objects, create your own models. So you go to 3D shapes and you can select here open 3D library or draw your own 3D doodle. And you have different shapes and options to draw. Using 3D doodle will create freehand 3D drawings using the tube brush, which you can adjust. So here we have the 3D doodle and the, the, the tube and the, the objects. These are the different shapes and options for the tubes. So you can see the different shapes and tubes. Sharp edge and soft shape 3D brush can help you to create customized shapes. So one will be soft and customized shapes and one will be sharp and customized edge. The sharp edge will be more sharp and soft edge will be much more soft. So you can see the difference in here in the picture. So that's all for today, but let's try to open our paint 3D. So when we open our Paint 3D, let's practice what we learned today a bit. We can use our brushes to draw something. For example, maybe you can draw anything you want. 
by three and All right, so this is freehand using brushes. The next one is another type of brush that you can see it looks a bit more different. You have to see when do you want to have this kind of effect. Or you have this a very strong brush, which might not be useful for you, or depending on what you want to draw. You can practice how we need things to look like. This can help you for a background, maybe if you want, you can choose color also. You can change the color down here to be the color you want. The thickness, of course, you can select what thickness you want. This is another brush, as you can see, the pen, pencil, eraser, figure to erase everything. Another another type which you can also make it thicker so there you can see basically there are many different types of brushes erase again We can go to the 2D shapes and draw, select, rotate. And edit it using the this knots on the edges. See how you need. And set to be you can go to the key. So we have many to the objects. You can choose which one you need. You can choose the fill in color, the line, thickness, how thick you need the edge to be. Maybe you want a pink or a purple. This is the sticker. Capacity, um, you can see it will go very dark and very light. You can choose this. You can make it as a 3D object and then. Um, View it as 3D. You can see here.
we can go to 3D objects and have a 3D object here. And go back to 3D view and view it. We can see how it looks and we can change the colors, of course. We can edit colors, we can change and have anything. We can see the to the model of the dog. We can go stickers, find stickers here. Have some time for the dog. We can write text. And Go to effects and we have some effects and edit. Red effect and camera effect for me. We can edit and play with. We have canvas, 3D library. We can have a this, a shark. And we put it here and then we in front some more in front. Oh, so we can view it on the TV frame. Let's go back and play with front and this. Rotate it up, down, left, right, and it's more front. Okay, so that's uh, what the, some of the things that you can do and play with. So that's all for today, and we have, um, also, I would like to. Also the 3D doodle, don't forget. We have a 3D doodle that you can doodle something. And we will have a 3D object. Just like this. Or we, we will have the other option. For doodling, for having a soft or a sharp option. All right, that's all for today. Just an introduction on all the some of the functions that we have in uh, 3D Paint, and um, for you to use. That's all for today. Thank you guys for joining, and have a lovely weekend. Take care. See you next week. Bye bye.